So what you're looking at here is a soda bottle rocket launcher. We think this one is the best that we've seen. Of course we're a little biased since uh, my son and I built this one. But I'm going to give you a brief overview of why we like this design, what we've done to it that's different from the ones that you'll find on YouTube. There's a lot of designs out there and we definitely have used some of the uh, concepts and some of the ideas but we added to it. We had built a couple and uh, basically they had done okay but there was always these failures mostly with the launch mechanism which you see up there the cable ties and some various issues. Uh, the first thing we did with our unit is build it on a sturdy base. We use a lot of 2x4s so the half inch PVC launch tube uh, air system is basically just uh, running through the middle. You can see it in the middle there of the base and then from there it runs to those uh, one bys that go up and then it pops out above the uh, trigger mechanism and now the base is really heavy and maintains the system so even when you're tugging to release the trigger or doing any kind of uh, regular launches the system doesn't fall over it's uh, it's staying in place that's a, a nice a nice way to uh, keep the system secure so if you're launching a lot of rockets definitely build a base you could do it a bunch of different ways I, we're not going to get into the details of that the other thing that we've done is change the uh, trigger mechanism and the cable tie system and I'm going to zoom in on that now so you can see kind of what we've done. I'm not going to get into the all the details of how we built it, but once you see how it functions, you'll understand why it's really handy. So, just like all of the systems that you see out there on YouTube, we did use standard cable ties, and when the rocket or when the bottle is lowered, the uh, uh, plastic collar here will drop below these cable ties and then we'll hold those in place to pressurize the system. The problem that we ran into with previous builds is that the cable ties were basically tied to the uh, or affixed to the launch tube by uh, maybe duct tape or clamps. I mean, there's a bunch of different ways of securing them. The problem is that they always come loose and they slowly get pulled up due to the extreme pressure that we're putting into the system. So in the end you're running into problems whether the cable ties come apart, whether they break, whether I mean it's just a bunch of issues and then because these uh, soda bottles can vary in size uh, sometimes this mouth is a little bit bigger, sometimes this collar is in different positions, all of these things influence where the bottle will become secure on our launch pad. I say our launch pad because what we chose to do is bevel up a section of this. That's that brown section that you see here. What we've done is heated the PVC so we've forced the half inch together which then widens it and this way when we slide the soda bottle down it gets a secure fit. No matter what soda bottle we're putting on there it's going to be tight and you're not going to lose water when pressurizing it. Uh, to do that means that with different size bottles you're going to have different heights needed by the cable ties and that was the challenge. How, how could we design cable ties that were going to be secure, not moving around you know with a lot of use but also adjustable and what we designed is one of the good things about this setup. So what we ended up doing to get our system uh, to be adjustable is that we came up with the idea of launching an external series of adapters and you're looking at it, that's the orange pieces of PVC. The bottom piece is actually an anchor piece and it's got a half inch uh, pass through in the middle which we ran the launch tube system through. We then secured that piece to the launch tube but it's a threaded female up top which is about an inch and a half. We then piece together two threaded uh, male 
adapters. Uh, used a coupler to hold them together. And then uh, another adapter that accepts threads up top. To this top adapter, which has got a half inch pass through, we uh, were able to secure the cable ties between the inside half inch and the outside uh, of the PVC. There's basically this flat section in there. We drilled out that section and then looped the PVC through there so that, I'm sorry, looped the cable ties through there so that they're anchored to the outer collar, if you will. Not this outer collar, but the collar that's inside there. I'll give you a zoom in of that in a moment. But the bottom line is the, the, these fittings are adjustable. So you can twist them down to lower the cables. You can twist it up. And we have threads here as well. So there is about an inch of adjustment that could be made half an inch in e either direction of lowering or heightening the cable ties. And what that does is allow you to tighten the cable ties to the uh, uh, collar on any soda bottle, regardless of what height it ends up being at. I'm going to move the camera in here so that you can see up top. Basically, this piece here, this top adapter, is it's got an inch pass through in the middle, so the half inch PVC can fit through there no problem and this little gap here originally was solid uh, down inside the fitting and we drilled out all that solid part of the PVC all the way around and then ran the cable ties through there we only put one cable tie per section and there's six sections the bottom line is one cable tie or I should say six total cable ties is plenty to hold this in system uh, to hold the uh, uh, bottle in place and it, it doesn't interfere with with any of the uh, threaded parts so that you can again heighten or lower this as needed depending on the bottle size that you're uh, using. The last thing that we did with this system is make a, a trigger release which is really sweet. We saw this concept on another uh, video Basically, somebody came up with the idea of using vice grips to clamp over the cable ties. Uh, they didn't secure the vice grips, and they used some kind of a funky mechanism here. We went real simple with uh, basically a piece of pipe. I believe it's the uh, inch and a half. Let me just think. I believe it's inch pipe. Uh, it might be inch and a half, actually. Yeah, it's inch and a half. I have to go back and look. But anyway, it fits snugly over the cable ties and holds them in place on the collar. The great thing about the vice grip system is that when you close this this vice grip these jaws are not going to open at least not from you know unless you pull on the trigger and the trigger requires such little effort. All it takes with this little lead is a gentle pull and that thing releases and you got a rocket going off. So you don't have to jerk the system around you don't have to look for missing parts. You know, we've anchored this. So in the end, you've got a, a really neat release trigger system. You've got an adjustable cable tie uh, lockdown mechanism that won't wear. And we've got a sturdy base, uh, all of which make this system, as far as we're concerned, the best soda bottle rocket launching system out there. I guess we'll try to post all the parts that we used, and maybe if we get enough interest, we'll launch a uh, how to build video. But for now, I just wanted to share the the design so that anyone interested in building one that can last and and launch a lot of rockets with no issue, this is what you want to do. It's well worth the time. Uh, I forgot to mention that this is actually for a school project, and the project is to build a launcher that can be used for classes that are building rockets. There's, I guess, a couple of grades below uh, my, my kid's grade. They're, they're actually going to be launching the, uh, a bunch of rockets. Everyone's building rockets, but the issue is, again, the launcher. So this launcher is what they're going to be using, and it should be able to uh, hold up even after hundreds of launches. So I guess we're going to find out. Send any questions you have, and we'll try to help.
but any dad and uh, child wanting to build a real good design, this is the way to go. All right, in this next section, I'm going to pump up and launch the rocket. The uh, system has been tested up to 80 pounds, 80 psi, I'm sorry, uh, up to uh, over 100 psi, but for uh, safety reasons, we uh, recommend not going over 80 pounds. I know these bottles can handle maybe 110, 120, maybe even more, some of them, but uh, 80 pounds gives you quite a bit of, of uh, power, and that's what we're going to do in this little launch right here. All right, so I've got her pressurized. If we take a careful look at the uh, gauge, you'll see it actually went over. Now you can see I'm just over 80 pounds. So we got plenty of power. System's charged up and uh, ready to roll. Of course, uh, you know how what happens here. <laughs> that rock is going to be gone in a heartbeat. All I got to do is tug this just a tiny little bit. She'll be gone. Here we go. That was pretty cool. That rock is shot up. Just landed. Right there. Right behind me. So there you have it. A soda bottle rocket system that's very efficient, easy to use, and can launch rockets repeatedly without needing service. Send me a message if you have any questions on the design, and if we get enough inquiries, we'll do a, a build out so you can see all the components and parts, how they go together, and hopefully uh, help you build a real good launch system. Thanks for watching.